Hey you guys, hey you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your girl Danny Royal from dannyroyal.com. If this is your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, then you know already what you're going to get from me. A little bit of love, a little bit of, you know, chatting it up, a little bit of, you know, uh, crowning up with me, a little bit of word, a, a lot of truth, and also, you know, um, all things Danny Royal. And that's what won't change here on this page. And I welcome you to come along with me in all of my endeavors. Um, and, you know, just enjoy the channel with me. Um, and I welcome you to, you know, gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of who I am as an individual. And also crowning up, you know, awakening the king and queen in you, um, amongst other things. And I'm excited, you know, to just you know, flourish in the season. I'm excited to see what y'all has in store. Um, I did do the daily uh, video for the messages that God give, had given me earlier today. Um, I was supposed to post this video a little bit earlier today, um, but you know, stuff happens. And so here we are. And so I pray that, you know, uh, you guys get something for those who it resonates with um in love as yah speaks to me through uh these cards as a tool um to get a message across to you all you know for guidance and um you know some wisdom knowledge and understanding of guidance for this day in love so i'm a little bit tired um however um, the show still must go on because I believe consistency and diligence is key. It's been a really, really great day. I hope that you have had an amazing Sunday and that this week will be even better for you. And I'm excited about how everything is, you know, going to go. Uh, I'm excited about y'all yeah, moving on uh, the people's behalf, not just the people, but his people. And so um, it's been a journey and it, it, it's still a journey and it still will be a journey as long as we're here on earth because we are ever evolving and um, I'm excited about that. So I am going to anoint my hands because I, I, I want God to be in every shuffle, every shuffle. And understand, you guys, that when these messages are coming forth, understand that I'm not, it's not me, you know, I, I'll, it's not me. I seek God to give, to gain wisdom and clarity and knowledge and understanding. And I challenge you to seek God for yourself. I'm not a tarot reader. I'm not a tarot reader. I'm not, I just use the cards as a tool for guidance, you know, um, through through intuition and through the spirit the bible says that the holy ghost is a revealer of the truth and not only that he is a revealer to those who diligently seek him seek yah pass the messages on your own gain a relationship with him don't push your put your trust in you know any man you know but definitely seek god for yourself and that's ultimately what it is about Seeking God for yourself, gaining wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and having some direction. Because sometimes people need a little bit of a push. And sometimes God sends confirmation, you know, uh, for the people who need it most. And um, I want you to know that I'm here to be the tool that God uses, the vessel that God uses. And, um, you know, I pray that you all can hear me. And I pray that it does not fall upon deaf ears. And if by chance that it does, God will confirm through somebody else, you know, what it is he's trying to say to his people. I love you guys so much. I'm going to say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your guidance. I thank you for your strength. I thank you for your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I thank you for the sacred space, oh God, that you've allowed me to set before you, oh God. God, I thank you for allowing me to be able to commune with you, for me to be able to sit here and in your space, God, as you are in my space. I thank you for abiding in me and your word in me, oh God. 
God, I know that some people put their trust in so many other things from day to day, God, but I choose to trust you. I ask that you speak to me, speak through me, and speak for me. God, only your spirit is welcome here. None other than your spirit with the host of your angels are welcome here. Anything that's not like you, I ask that you remove it. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, for clarity on today in love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So let's get into it. So what I like to do is I like to uh, do a spread of five with my nature's deck. Um, then my nature's oracle deck. And then a spread of four or three with uh, my triology oracle deck. And then an overall energy message pull for uh, guidance. And that's actually on my... <laughs> What am I talking about? This is love. This is love. Hidden love messages through Yah. Uh, I use this. The hidden love messages that he wants me to speak. Um, and yeah. So whatever Yah wants for me to do, that's what I do. Anything else after that, bam, you know. So here we go, you guys. Here we go. Once again, I pray that you have had an amazing Sunday. You know, this is the day that the Lord has made. You better rejoice and be glad in it. I'm telling you. Holy Spirit, what are the hidden messages in love for today? What are the hidden messages in love for today? Holy Spirit, what are the hidden messages in love for today? Oh, okay. Holy Spirit, what are the hidden messages in love for today? What are the hidden messages in love for the day, Holy Spirit? What are the hidden messages in love for today? Holy Spirit, what is the hidden messages in love for today? What are the hidden messages in love for today? Holy Ghost, what is the hidden messages? Holy Spirit, what are the hidden messages in love for today? What are the hidden messages in love for today? What are the hidden messages in love for today? What are the hidden messages in love for today? Holy Spirit, what are the hidden messages in love for today? What are the hidden messages in love for today, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, what are the hidden messages in love for today? Holy Spirit, what are the hidden messages? Oh. Okay. okay. I'm going to sit that right there. Holy Spirit, what are the guidance for today in love? What is the guidance for today in love, Holy Spirit? What is the guidance for today in love? What are the guidance for today in love? Oh, oh. Holy Spirit. What is the guidance for today in love? What is the guidance for today in love, Holy Spirit? What is the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, what is the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, what is the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, what is the guidance for today in love? What is the guidance for today? I'm not gonna take him. What are the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, okay. What are the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, what is the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, what is the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, what is the guidance for today in love? Holy Spirit, what are the guidance for today in love? Y'all forgive me for all that noise. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy for this love message today? Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy for this love message today? Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy for this message in love? Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy for this love message in love? 
Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy for this message in love? All right. Okay. Give me one second, you guys, and I'm just going to do an overview and see what Yah is saying through these cards. Okay, so for the first break you got, from the hidden messages and love you got, I don't react when people mention you. I look for you everywhere. I know I've crossed the line with you. So what I'm getting is someone is missing someone and that they don't react, they don't react when people mention you because the way that you guys separated apparently, you know, it, it hit their core. And so they have to be guarded or hold forth an ego to not show forth emotion as to how they really feel. But deep down inside, they look for them everywhere. They look for you everywhere. They look for your or your presence, your your spirit. They look for, you know, you everywhere and everything that they do in their daily. And yes, they did cross the line. Somebody did something that they were not supposed to do. Somebody did something that was unjust. And so because of it, they have to deal with the consequences of not being, you know, in union with the person or in a relationship or in communication with the person that is on their heart that they look for everywhere. I don't know who this is resonating with, but for the third, uh, for the third, I mean, the second spread from the triology deck. We got tranquility. We got the third chakra, which is the solar plexus. And then we got acceptance. And so when I see tranquility, uh, I'm sensing that somebody has to accept the fact that You crossed the line and you may not have another chance. Be okay with knowing. Have peace within self and knowing that this, this is what it is. You chose, you decided, and now this is the path that you have to take. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know. Y'all didn't give me that. But what I do know is whatever you do... Whenever you do it, every action has a reaction and everything has a consequence. You can't do things to people any kind of way and expect them to just get over it automatically. Now, it's some things that are forgivable. And then it's some things that are not forgivable. And that's according to the person because some people can handle certain things and some people can't. But what I'm getting is... You, whoever is the person who did the hurting you have to ex have peace within yourself and knowing that this may not go the way that you want it to go 
But you have to accept that fact and be okay with whatever Yah's will is concerning you in this specific person. Be okay with that. And for the solar plexus, I'm going to read on that. Give me one second. Which is the third chakra. And it says. The third chakra is the solar plexus. It is yellow and located between the navel and the rib cage. This chakra is sometimes referred to as the power chakra. The solar plexus holds the energy that is about identity. The ego. Sense of self. Setting boundaries. Willpower. And our fears. This chakra is about developing self-control. And this, this chakra being blocked is shame. So what I'm getting is somebody is, somebody, yeah, that ego. That ego was involved because it says, I don't react when people mention you. So that ego was in a way because of their own shame because they crossed the line. And they crossed the line thinking that, you know, they were going to be able to come back and have with you what it is that they that you guys had before. But it doesn't work like that. So now this person has to have peace and knowing that even if this don't work out, everything happens for a reason. And my ego, I have to let that pride aside, swallow my pride. And I have to accept the fact that I brought this on myself. Understanding that this is not about you at this point. Although it was about you when you decided to do what you did. Because you could have chosen to do something differently. You could have chosen to handle a situation differently. But because you allow your ego to get in the way. Now there may not be a turning back. Now God has the final say. But you have to go to Yah for yourself and say, Lord, I know I messed up. I know I did something hurtful to somebody that I love. Help me to fix it if it be your will. Is this my person? Do you have, uh, what do you have in store for us? God, and if this is not my person, what, what do you want me to learn from this? Because apparently I got in my own way. And going forward, I don't want to do that. Okay, so the overall energy, we got the butterfly and allowing. And so what I'm getting for that is at this point from this situation, you have to accept what God allows. You have to allow, you have to allow yourself to go through this process and know that all things work together for the good of them who loves them and to those who call, uh, call according to his purpose and trust that if it's meant then god will he will work it out if it's not meant then guess what he will allow you to learn hopefully you learn what you need so that when god does send you who he wants for you you're prepared and you know how to handle that person because everybody does not um um Handle things the same way. And you have to know that. So I'm just going to read from the um, nature's, I mean, the animal guidance uh, messenger book. The number three may be significant to someone. And the number seven might be significant to someone. And also the number 10. You know, you could be seeing the number. Who knows? I don't know. Or you could. You know, you could you could be seeing it in dreams. You could be it could be a, a birthday. It could be anything. I don't know. Whoever resonates with that, you know, um, ask God what what does it mean to him spiritually? What is he trying to convey through that to you? So, allowing, and this is the butterfly, and also the butterfly represents change. So before I get into reading this, I need you to understand that, you know, there is change taking place and you have to accept what God allows and knowing that it's something in you that has to change. 
And I'm going to say that it's going to start with your ego. And I'm also going to say that it starts with you. No, it starts with you consult, acknowledging the fact that you were wrong. You know, about whatever that thing you were wrong about. And then it goes on to acknowledging the fact that your ego may have gotten in the way. And then also accepting the fact that you did cross the line. Maybe you went a little bit too far. Okay, yeah. I went too far. Forgive me. And then forgive yourself. Have peace in knowing that all things will work together and accept what God allows. Allows. And that change is taking place and he's changing you through this because you didn't expect for this to have to turn out the way that you the way that it did. You thought that you were going to be here and that that person might have would have forgiven you because possibly for some people uh, they have met, they may have taken you back and kept taking you back and kept taking you back and take, kept taking you back. And this time God's like, no, that's for some people. But it says we work hard to find clarity, to set clear intentions. Sometimes, however, what we desire start to manifest in our own reality and our fear of change sets in creating a vibration of resistance if we do not have awareness of our resistance it will stop the manifestation in its tracks and take us back to our comfort zone where we stagnate where we stagnate and so you don't want to go back to that ego ask god to break up the follow ground so that you can feel it so he can fill you again with the things that are of him because you can't say lord i'm looking for a wife lord i'm looking for a husband or, i, I want to be with this person still going and doing the same things it's not going to work like that god don't work like that so you have to get it right within you and ask god what it is that he wants you to do and then it says another example is when when what we desire does not is not showing up at all as a result of our of our unconscious choice to stay in our comfort zone if you choose to stay there then you're going to get the same results in any relationship in anything going forward do not judge yourself allow new experiences to into your life that means breaking uh, old habits and belief systems it means that we need to keep our hearts open to love and support of the universe and the holy spirit when we when we are used to shutting our hearts down surrender allow yourself to feel vulnerable and know that you are worthy of the love and support that you are receiving also be vigilant about knowing how you are feeling in every moment your feelings will tell you when you have reverted back to your old comfort zone because your heart will be closed and will not feel good. Remember, our Creator, Holy Spirit, never gives us more love than we can handle. And so that means, you know, you have to accept. Like I said, what God allows, and he's not going to put more on you than you can bear. But oftentimes he does things so that we can, so that we can see ourselves, so that we can see ourselves as God show me, me, show me how you see me for real, you know, because like I said before, let, relationships are here to teach us. And God wants you to be at a place where you can receive the love that you're looking for. But make sure that when you when you receive the love that you're looking for or when you're asking God for that, that you are mirroring what it is that he that you're asking God for. Make sure that you are that. And if you're not that, ask God to prepare you to be what it is that you need, that he needs you to be so that you can be that to your significant other or to the person that he has in store for you. I love you guys. I pray that you have gotten something out of this read, this message, this word, you know, um, that y'all has given me today. And I pray that whoever this message is meant to uh, uh, come across, that they hear it and hear it clear. And you don't have to make this word fit you. You know if this is the word for you or not. You know. 
and and I pray that whatever God's will and whatever the connection that it is done the way that he wants to and 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 that he has his way and that y'all keep him first if God blesses you to be able to recover this recover from this from ego and from your own personal things that that got in a way because you crossed the line and now you really want this person back or you really want this person in your life or you just came across oh I realize I really love that person okay well you need to let God know I really love this person I made a mistake yeah what is your will concerning me how can I get it right if I can't get it right God what do you want me to do or what do you want me to learn out of this for my next situation so I won't fall into the same situation again. But understand, have peace in knowing that whatever God's will is, it shall be done. And accept what God allows ultimately. And allow him to take free course in your life the way that he wants to. I love you guys so much. Once again, I am your girl, Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com. And thank you so much for crowning up with me. And remember to crown up always. The CR represents to cry a little bit. Maybe even cry a lot. And in this case, you might have been doing some crying. Somebody's been doing some crying. Because they really want it. But then I want you to own your story. Own how you feel. Own where you've been. Own your hangups. Own your downfalls. Own what you've done right. Feel that emotion. You know, let God do something with that. He can do something with your broken pieces. And then what I want you to do from there, I want you to UP. I want you to take up your royal place in the kingdom because we have work to do. Understand that this walk is not about us. But it's about getting through our story so that we can be the light to someone else. So that we can help somebody else. That's what it's about. I love you guys so much. I'll see you on the next love video. Have a blessed day. Peace.